This is Alexia Tetsis from TechCrunch TV, and I am here with Sarah, and you guys are? I'm Joseph Muyoung. I'm Violet Sue. And I'm William Sue. And we're Team Sarah from the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. So what is Sarah? Uh, Sarah is a sexual assault response application. It's a smartphone app that's designed to respond to instances of sexual assault to help out the user. Um, through the use of uh, microphone activation technology, um, it automatically uh, no, autonomous, autonomously um, turns on GPS locating um, services as well as contacting emergency services and video and audio recordings. And this addresses the two biggest problems um, in sexual assault, first of all, the fact that it's happening at all, and that's addressed by um, contacting local authorities so you can get help as soon as possible, but also the fact that a lot of sexual assault goes unreported. Um, and this application will gather data so that, that would help in further prosecution of the offender. And one of the good things about Sarah is that its activation is really inconspicuous, so the attacker won't know that emergency services have already been contacted. Uh, the user sets their own custom phrase, so it won't seem very out of the ordinary for them to activate the application. And we made a sort of graphical user interface of our application. And this is the first screen when you first open Sarah. There's a help button in case you don't want, you want to opt out of the voice activation, uh, the settings uh, and information as well. So this is the information part of the application. It will just tell first time users what Sarah does and the full function, give them an idea of the full functionality of what Sarah can do to protect you. And the uh, settings screen, uh, one of the good things about Sarah is how flexible it is and how customizable it is to the user. Uh, we can, in this uh, setting screen, we can toggle on and off the panic phrase recognition, camera data, streaming, uh, voice uh, recording, and as well as GPS. And this is also where you can set your own panic phrase. So this is Sarah. So you're, basically it works where, you, does the app have to be on? for you to say the panic phrase? Like, do you have to have the app open? Uh, the, the application does not have to be open because uh, we're using the Android operating system. It has true multitasking, so that it can run in the background. So while, it's not for iPhone? Uh, not yet? Not, 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 not as of now. Mm -hmm. But every smartphone on the market right now has the basic capability to do so because um, to run this program, since all you need is a microphone, like video, camera, and GPS, which kind of define what a smartphone is. What if you accidentally say the phrase, your, your panic phrase, like in a normal conversation with your friend and all of a sudden the police show up? Have you guys thought of that? Uh, uh, the purpose of the custom panic phrase is that it's supposed to be a phrase that's not commonly said in everyday conversation, okay. but something that's memorable, memorable enough that in the event of an assault, the, um, the user can state it and emergency services will. So do you have any like, examples of a good panic phrase? Um, purple elephants. Purple elephants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something that's sufficiently out of the ordinary that a normal conversation won't activate it. And it's really something that should be specific to the person themselves. It has to be something that you're comfortable with and that you'll remember, like in a time of dire need. So there isn't really a suggestion that we can give that would help you the most. And so if I say purple elephant, I'm being attacked, and I say purple elephants. It notifies the police, mm -hmm. it turns the video recorder on. And the GPS, and so the that GPS. police know where to find you. Have you talked to police? Have you talked to, like, branches? We actually called our local police department. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, yes, we spoke with the D Durham Police Department, their municipal um, department, and they told us that this application sounds like a great idea and that they support the use of it. Well, uh, is there, like, a, a back end that the police would have that would... Uh, register Sarah notifications or? We're working through an intermediate call service um, that'll take the calls and then forward those onto the police departments with GPS information as well as um, other things like s someone is being assaulted. The police departments will be notified by these call centers. Got it. How many call centers have you talked to? So far um, we have one committed. But that, um, that call center services a pretty large portion of the United States. Um, I think it's is it entire southeast? Southeast United States. Yeah. And so as our program is um, being spread throughout the country, we'll be contacting other call centers as well. Can you download it for the Android right now? Or 
Um, not currently. We're working on developing it, and we're actually really lucky to be in like the Durham um, Raleigh Research Triangle Park area because there's a lot of great universities around um, with like students who have volunteered to help us with our application. Um, so we're hoping to further refine our program and get it out soon. How old are you guys? We're all seniors. You're all seniors. Are you going to college? Yeah. yeah. Where are you guys going to go? Um, I'm going to UNC Chapel Hill. I'm going to Columbia University. Uh, North Carolina State University. Very cool. So you're going to keep with Sarah while you're in school? Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea? Group effort. We were, we're trying to identify <laughs> some of the biggest problems in society right now that aren't really well addressed yet. And we identified um, sexual assault as something that's really, I guess, under and like people are underinformed about, mm -hmm. and that's still a big problem right now. Awesome.